never in a million years did I imagine I'd be working with Channel 4 in the Paralympic Games. It's just been an incredible journey. The sun is shining here and we've got crowds pouring in. The bagpipers have just gone by. Danny looking lovely and bright there. What would we call that, a peachy top? I think it's a little bit more salmon, maybe. Salmon. We'll go with salmon. What many of you won't know is that I have my very own Blade Runner. And I got the chance to go in them. I was excited, but I was equally nervous. Because they're so sore, they're so hard to run on. You know Johnny Peacock, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jonathan. Go, Johnny, go with uh -huh. the slogan. Go, Johnny, go with the slogan. It is freezing here now and I'm trying to get as much heat as I can from that Olympic flame behind me, but uh, I'm not really having much luck. Stalin's policies led to the deaths of millions through famine and purges. The official stance of the Soviet Union towards disability was one of exclusion, with the irony being that Stalin himself was disabled. I lost my fingers to meningitis when I was 16, so I have a massive interest in this field. How does somebody walk in a high heel and an artificial leg at the same time. Good practice. I say. <laughs> at 13, Ellie Simmons was the darling of the British swim team. Oh, there's been so many highlights, but if we're talking about the very beginning of the Paralympics, for me, it was Jonathan Fox getting that first swim goal for Great Britain. The Russian crowd, like I said, are really getting behind Paralympic sport. That's where we talk about legacy, and you can see legacy right here. Just wait till Rio, Addy. Atmosphere there has been electric. <laughs> I think there was just a touch of magic about this summer, and to be part of it has been some privilege. Yeah, I love that song as well. So nice. We're singing along here in studio.